Hi, this is pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, I want to touch on metoprolol side effects. And just as a side note, people struggle to pronounce it. It is pr pronounced metoprolol. Um, and before we get into that, if you enjoy this video, appreciate a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about medications, supplements, that sort of thing. So as far as the MOA or the mechanism of action of metoprolol, it's, there's different kinds of blood pressure medications and this falls into a class called beta blockers. Now you have different beta receptors throughout your body. Metoprolol is a selective beta-1 blocker and you have beta-1 receptors in the heart and the kidney. In case you can't tell, that's a kidney. I'm a really good artist. Um, but you have these receptors, these beta-1 in the heart and the kidney. And so it blocks those receptors without hitting your beta-2s. And your beta-2s are in your lungs, your GI tract, your liver, uterus, and your muscle tissue. Now that becomes important because if you're blocking those receptors, it's going to affect those other muscle groups when it comes to blood pressure. We really would just want to be hitting the heart. So um, it's good in that regard. Now what we see another advantage of metoprolol is that when you dose it under 100 milligrams, you don't see any, um, it's called the MSA, which is uh, the membrane stabilizing activity. Basically, the it, it, best way to describe MSA, it's like a nerve block. Um, it, it's a nerve conduction thing. So you don't see that. And you also don't see any ISA or intrinso, uh, intrinsic sympathomimetic activity, fancy term. Just basically saying that it can block and also stimulate the beta receptors at the same time. And that's a really confusing um, thing to think about in your head that it can do both at the same time. But under 100 milligrams, it does not do that. Now, when you start getting into higher doses, you can see some of that stimulation and blocking of the beta-1 receptors as the doses get higher. So it's something to keep in mind most of the time, you know, Going above 100 milligrams, it's not an extremely high dose, but it's rare to see it go that high. So at any rate, that's how metoprolol acts in the body. And I wanted to point that out because when you understand the way something acts in the body, the side effects start to make a lot more sense. So when it comes to side effects, I try to focus on just the more common things that you're likely to see. And so first and foremost, obviously it's, it's lowering your blood pressure. Sometimes it can go too low in people. And while that seems really obvious, you can see this in up to 25% of people where it's just, it goes too low and you have to adjust the dose. That happens. Um, low pulse rate, again, we're hitting those beta receptors in the heart. So the heart rate can go down two to 16% of people, the blahs. While it only says one to 10% of people, this is a complaint I get a lot from people who are on beta blockers. Um, not that 90% of people get it, it's just the thing people verbalize the most because it's the most frustrating for them. By the blahs, it means that people just don't feel that good. They have low energy, um, and we're, if you kind of look at the next one, some people they feel depressed and that's part of really the blahs is they're just they're not themselves they don't feel all that good they don't feel like going out and doing a bunch so that can become problematic for people so i already mentioned depression and the last major one that we see is dizziness again we're lowering the blood pressure that can be a side effect of of the medication so dizziness in two to ten percent of people can be seen so Again, Pharmacist Curtis Alexander, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you want to see more. And until the next video, I appreciate your time. Thanks.